Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. Recently, I was asked to preside at the funeral of a lady that I have known for many years, but hadn't talked to very much at all. However, many years ago, I spoke at the funeral of someone where she was in attendance. After the funeral, the lady told me that she appreciated what I had said. She appreciated what I had said, not because I'm a great, eloquent speaker, but simply because I had told of how that God loves everyone and that Jesus Christ had paid for everyone's sin by his death, burial, and resurrection. And all anyone needs to do is to believe that what he has done is all that is necessary to be saved. God has promised to those who trust Jesus Christ they will never be cast out of his family. This world is full of religions that insist on adding works to God's grace. Perhaps unknowingly, they are saying that the work of Christ was inadequate. And in many cases, pride is a problem. They feel a sense of accomplishment and glory in their own work. However, Jesus Christ is the only one who can save. He alone deserves all the glory. He has done all the work. It is not a case of what we do. It is what he has done. Speaking of God's promises... He has promised in his word to the Jewish people of how that they would be scattered among many other nations and they would be persecuted by many and that many leaders in other countries would conspire together to eliminate them from the world. However, God has also promised that they would be gathered together in their own nation. And in 1948, Israel received their statehood, just as God had promised. We also know that the Jews are and have been the most persecuted people of all time. Yet God has promised that they will be their, he will be their God and he will deliver them. A leader in Iran recently stated that Israel must be done away with. In Psalms 82 verse 4, it reads, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. God had predicted this conspiracy thousands of years ago, and as we see what's happening in the Muslim countries, we realize there will be an attack on Israel very soon. However, God will destroy the enemies of Israel. Some so-called Christian churches are now saying that God's promises of peace and safety to Israel that are to follow have been now given to the church or those who have trusted Christ. To the believer, God has promised many blessings, but he has not nor will not break his promises to Israel. This teaching that is called replacement theology would mean that God didn't keep his promises and that would make him a liar then how could those of us who have trusted Jesus Christ as our only means of salvation and have been promised that we are sealed into God's family, as stated in Ephesians 4.30, how could we have any assurance that we are eternally secure? If God would break the promise to Israel, might he also break the promises to us? But God does not break promises to Israel, nor does he break promises to the believer. As the scripture tells us, God is not a good a God that can lie. To break a promise is to lie. The lady that I spoke of relied on the promises of God, that she would be eternally in his fold. She's with God now, just as all who trust Christ alone will be. Throughout the ages, man has continued to degrade the deity of God, and by doing that, they bring God down to man's level and elevate man to God's level. This is nothing short of blasphemy. The teaching that God would send some to hell without any choice is also heresy. God loves everyone equally, and he's not willing that any should perish. God has provided salvation for all, but those who refuse God's gift have rejected his grace. This has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. I'd like to invite you all to our Sunday services at 9 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. For more information, call 999-9012. Until next week, may the grace and love of God become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now. Thank you for listening.